Bonjour, comment allez-vous? Hello, how are you? Welcome back to my YouTube channel, Learn French and Learn If you have already subscribed to my channel, press the bell icon to get the latest updates. In today's class, we are going to do lesson number 17 of the textbook Cours de Langue et de Civilisation Française, the Millennium Edition, Volume 2, by A.G. Moshe, recommended by CBSE, both for class 11 and 12, published by World Publishers and Ashat Livda. We have covered the culture of civilization from chapter number 1 to chapter number 16. All those videos are present in the playlist titled Geomoji Class 11 CBSC. And just give me one minute, let me check whether the recording is taking place or not. Yeah, it's fine. Sometimes I just wonder what if I just keep speaking and I. Uh, and there's no recording going on. Uh, then I need to really record. So it's better to confirm. Yeah. So, as you all know, the grammar will be discussed separately. We are directly discussing the text and the back questions. Right, we are on chapter, page number 42. In case you have the book, you can open it. Right, page number 42. Now, the heading is Ecolier et étudiant. Uh, yes, you might think that these two terms are synonyms but they actually aren't and this we will get to know in the very first back question okay so we will discuss that once we are reaching there though as of now i can just tell you that ecolier school student who goes to école school école right and the studio the students who go to uh, university this much is fine as well now when we will discuss the answer we will discuss in detail <coughs> Ilia, à toutes les époques des enfants qui, comme Alain Vasson, apprirent à lire, à écrire, à compter des jeunes gens qui, comme son frère, suivent des cours de lettres et de sciences. So they are in a, they are in every era the some children who, like Helen Vincent, learned to read, to write, to count, contains to count. Uh, and there are some young people who, like her, like her brother, followed the course of the classes of letters and sciences. Autrefois, dans les écoles françaises, l'instruction ne fut-elle pas donnée en latin. So, those days, in uh, the French schools, the instruction was not given in Latin. We, l'entend aussi. Elle fut donnée dans les écoles religieuses, ou par des maîtres et des professeurs que les élèves payaient de la main à la main. <coughs> de la main à la main. Translation, from the hand to the hand, and when we shorten it, hand to hand. Hand in hand, okay. Yeah, right. right, so that's how they were paid. So, um, yes, long time ago as well, uh, it was given in the religious schools. Okay, there's um, instruction in Latin. Uh, there, by the masters and the professors, that the st whom the students paid hand in hand. Okay. <coughs> il no, il non est plus ainsi maintenant. So it isn't like this right now. No, bien sûr. Now, of course, quand l'enseignement public est gratuit, ou est créé par la République française à côté de l'enseignement privé, beaucoup de maîtres et de professeurs deviendront. Uh, Fonctionnaire de l'État. Okay. So, uh, when there's a, a public and free education created by the French Republic, close to the private education, a lot of masters and professors became fonctionnaire, F O N C T I O W N A I R E S, fonctionnaire means public servants, okay? The l'état of the state. Aujourd'hui, 
des millions de fonds reçoivent jusqu'à 14 ans l'enseignement du premier degré dans les écoles communales. So today, uh, millions of children receive till the age of 14 years the primary education or the education of the first degree in the les écoles communales, the community schools. C'est là qu'on a lancé une mystère de l'orthographe. It is there that one is taught there, one teaches there the mysteries of the orthography is what? Writing. Et ensuite, and then, ensuite, il nous sort l'enseignement du second degré et prépare un baccalauréat de lettres, de sciences ou de technique. So, then, they receive the education of the second degree and they prepare for the baccalaureate in letters, in sciences, or in techniques. Okay, techniques must be some subject. So, uh, baccalaureate, second degree. Now, they haven't really mentioned that where does the second degree takes place, but uh, if I refer to audition clause 10, it was like uh, they get this uh, in lycée. Right. So I am going to proceed with Lise as the answer. It will be appearing in one of the questions. Right. Because after that, there's university. Right. So it's like Ecole Communale. First Ecole Maternelle, then we have Ecole Communale, then we have Lise, and then we have uh, this uh, university. If we follow this passage, right. It could be slightly different in uh, Andrujun when we did that intent, right? So, yeah. Après le bac, on entre à l'université. So after the baccalauréat, one enters to the university. C'est alors l'enseignement supérieur. So it is then the superior teaching, right? The high level teaching. Les amphithéâtres, les laboratoires, the amphitheaters and the laboratories. C'est la vie en commun et pour deux qui ont de la chance, il y a une chambre à deux. À la cité universitaire, on y rencontre, comme j'ai dit, au moyen âge, moyen âge, sur la vieille montagne Sainte-Geneviève, des étudiants de toutes les nations. OK. So it is like common living. Once you go to university, you get to see people from all around the world, right? Uh, yeah. So it's like a common living and for like them uh, which have the luck a room of two in the university. Okay. One meets there comme jadi. Like those in the middle age on the old mountain of the Saint Genevieve, uh, the students of all the nations. Right. I didn't really get this. Yun chambre a deux. Pour deux qui ont de la chance, yun chambre a deux. A room for two. Ah. I'm not getting this phrase much, but. Uh, if I understand the meaning after some time, I'll just add it in the description box or in the comment section. Otherwise, we are directly moving to the back questions. We have how many questions right now? Uh, 206. 1 to 10, yes, nice, 10 questions again. Ok, first one. Quelle différence y a-t-il entre l'écolier et un étudiant? So first there's a short answer that I've written that I gave in the very beginning of the video. But there's a long answer as well, I'm reading it. Un étudiant est une personne qui fait des études supérieures dans une université. So a student is a person who does the superior education in the university. Un écolier est un enfant du niveau primaire. Ok. And uh, a school, yes, school student is a, okay, the translation is school student only. So school student is a child who uh, is in the primary level, 
write, or you can write who studies in the school. So that's what can be written, and there's a shorter answer as well. That I will be writing. Okay, I feel I can accommodate the answer here itself. There's a collier. Wo a l'école et les étudiants vont à l'université. Short and crisp answer. Number two. Quand on en aux enfants à l'école. I think I wrote wrong spelling. Apron double P. Yes, of course it's double P. So what do we teach to the students in, at the school? So we teach them the letters and the sciences. Right. On leur apprend des cours de lettres et de sciences. Question number three. Où les enfants reçoivent-ils l'instruction du premier degré? So where do they receive the first degree education? They receive in the community school, right? L'école communale. Les enfants reçoivent l'instruction du premier degré à l'école communale. And the next question is of second degree, if I'm not wrong, yes. And of second degree, second degree, I'm assuming that the answer should be DC because uh, after DC, you go to university, right? So, I'm not writing the full sentence. Les enfants reçoivent l'instruction du deuxième degré degré au lycée if you feel that the answer should be something else say university then do let me know okay I feel it should be lycée if you feel any other answer is possible then you can add it in the comments and we can have a discussion there as well y a-t-il d'autres école are there other schools? Yes, there are other schools. There's university, right? B. Ilya, do to the equal. Question number six. Lick and which ones? We have universities, right? So. University, right? So they can leave university. Again, I feel there should be the answer based on the text. Okay, there could be many more types of schools. I mean, at the end, university is also type of school only. We can categorize it as a school, but we don't generally do it. University is separate, schools are separate. Then we have seventh, oh, downtown also in more superior. So where do we give the superior education? Or the superior teaching, where do the students receive? They receive it in university, right? So, question number seven. On don, l'enseignement. Superior Superior 
Ja, university. Question number eight. Guess from level of twelve. So level of three, you can define it in your words. I'm defining it in my words. Right. You can write it. You can write this as well, or you can write it in your words. If La laboratoire de la laboratoire est une salle et un room where the students work. To be specific, you can name a subject like chemistry avec la chemie. Chemistry. Uh, was it C H I? Okay. If this is the right spelling, then I will not confirm it. If it's not the right spelling, then I will correct it in the comment section. Okay. A. Il faut la research. Research. Like charge is to search, right? Research, say? Uh, research. So it's a noun form, la research. Two more questions to go. Nice. Question number nine we have. Que préférez-vous? Le cours de lettres ou le cours de sciences? Depends on you. Which one do you prefer? The course of science, the classes of science, or the classes of letters, or the course of letters? I will say letters. Okay, I don't... Okay, uh, I can confess it here. I don't really like science a lot. I had it, I had it in tent, right, and I didn't really enjoy studying it. So, yeah, I prefer the cools, the letter, and the next question is pourquoi, right? So pourquoi is an open-ended question, you need to justify your previous answer. So I'll justify it by saying that because I don't like signs, I like letters. That's what I'm going to write. Pascal. Je n'aime pas les cours de science et j'aime les cours de lettres. Right. With this, we are done with the culture and civilization portion of chapter number 17, right? With this, we have also completed the portion of this textbook for, for class 11 CBSC. Okay, now I know for this particular batch, 2022 to 2023, the syllabus has been reduced to 1 to 12. Right, and that we have covered around uh, one or two weeks back. Right, we have completed. But now, 1 to 17 is like the full-fledged syllabus. Right, like before the pandemic, we used to get... 1 to 17. I also prepared 1 to 17 when I was in 11th. How many years back? Four years back. 16, 20. Yeah, four years back. So I also prepared all the 17 questions, 17 chapters, right? So yeah, 17 chapters. Done. Complete. For 12th, we may start in one or two, well, two to three weeks. We will be covering a few more topics, okay? Uh, in the meantime, and uh, yeah, we have completed the full fledged syllabus of class 11, right? Like 1 to 17. If in the next year also there's reduced syllabus, then for 11 it would be somewhere between 1 to 17 only, right? 18 to 30 are fixed for 12th, and 1 to 17 are fixed for 11. So, with this, we have completed Culture Civilization for class 11 CBSC. That's amazing. Okay, so 
Let's put a halt here. Sit up, push it. That's all for today. If you like this video, please give that thumbs up and subscribe to my YouTube channel, Learn Fusion as well. And if you have any doubt or suggestion, you may write that in the comment section below. You may also like my Facebook page by the same name, Learn Fusion and Evolve. See you in my next video. Thanks for watching. God bless you. Bye bye. Allah Fawzeh. Salamu.